success in life and the way to success and you know how to achieve success and you know getting the life that you want and creating wealth and abundance having, a, having an abundance mindset mindset what is success uh, to live life to the fullest can we really actually do that or are we just living a life Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thank you for visiting another episode of an Everyday Miracles Moment on video. You know, some individuals invest their whole lives questioning the ways, the way to success. However, never figuring it out. And believe me, that's for many years of my life, I was in that same boat. By the way, as you're listening to me, I've got a wonderful video I'd love you to access in the description area down below on bringing dreams to reality. Go ahead and access that. There's a free ebook that will download right into your inbox right away. And it's just a tremendous ebook that I urge you to get on, you know, creating the life you want and having real success, the success that is right for you. But wouldn't you be amazed to learn that the secret truly boils down to just a handful of crucial thoughts and perceptions to live life to the fullest? What I mean is, you see, individual stress and anxiety is attainable for anybody who, you know, I mean, stress and anxiety is going to overrule any of us wanting to get success because when we're not on the path to getting what we really want, you know, that's where the stress and anxiety comes in. But, you know, success is yours. But you need to practice these thoughts and perceptions, which I'm going to give you here in a moment, which become a reflection into the material world, a secret to success, as I call them. And, you know, you can read more on this in a detailed blog article, excuse me, a little tongue tied here, on uh, manifesting the life that you want, manifesting your dreams. I'd spent a lot of time on this article, and it's pretty detailed, but it's easy to understand because I made sure that it's very readable and very accessible, and it's been well received. So I hope that you'll check that out. And by the way, the link to that blog article is in the description box also. Now you might have to hit, click on show more to expand that area. And I hope you'll access that blog. But after you read that blog, then I want you to start thinking about, you know, well, you know, there about the handful of thoughts for what is success and you know what you need to do, what needs to be in the forefront of your mind. And after you read that blog article, then I want you to think about these handful of suggestions for thoughts and perceptions in your mind that you need to carry with you every day. Now, I've noted these that I'm going to give you here in the description area down below so you can jot them down later and, you know, keep them, you know, on a post-it note or a, or a, or a index card or something around you all the time. But the, the handful of points go like this. All right, number one, everybody desires to have an abundant and healthy life. So do the significant work and attain the financial freedom and self-reliance that you're looking for. That's number one. Number two, you have to keep perceiving and thinking about, you know, hey, everybody desires to do something terrific with his or her life. Why can't I? Okay, that's number two. Number three, Choose precisely what you desire rather than just living in where you wish to go. In other words, choose where you want to go with your life. Okay, now number four. This is the last of the handful of thoughts and perceptions that you need to carry with you through your day. Now, this is important. Set a due date and make a strategy for the journey ahead. Now, why that's so important? Because for those of you that know my writing and what I write about, spiritual metaphysics contained in a course in miracles and, and on to a better life and get the life we want through, you know, looking at manifestation principles as, you know, designing our own dream life, so to speak. So remember, as you contemplate these perceptions that I had just given you, remember that an objective that you set, an objective to meet your goals, remember an objective that you set is simply a dream while in this world with an actual due date that you insert into the dream of life. Now, when you look at it that way, it makes things a little bit more fun. You know, it's just an easier way of looking at life and how to, how to design your life and create the life you want. So what you can do now is do something about it on your own strategy, on your own journey, your own plan, and do something now daily to approach your objective and goals. So, 
solve it ahead of time. Any problems that you see it in the way that are going to get in your way and then never quit, never ever quit. And by doing so, by not quitting, by committing to not quitting, you will rule out any type of scarcity mindset coming along. Now, this formula is your way to success, and perhaps you may call it, if you want, a secret to success, whatever you want to term it. Put that on the note that you make when you jot down the four principles that I've given you. Give it a title like My Own Secrets to Success. Nobody, you don't have to share this with anyone unless you want to, but you know, it will, it will need, though, your extreme whole heart your wholeheartedness, which really means your, your whole mind, not your brain, the whole, W-H-O-L-E, the whole essence of what you are, it will need that. So you can bring forth the best qualities in you and reflect them into your material world. So in establishing the following, these secrets, you know, in, in establishing those secrets that I just given you, for any individual really, it's been proven for centuries to work, and it can work for you too. So take the time, uh, you know, design the life that you want, but it's in your power to bring it to the material world. I hope that makes sense to you, and I ho also hope that hey, if you if it did make sense to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, and why not? Like I always say, why not think about and just understand the natural beauty that's within you and start reflecting that to your material world. How do you reflect it to your material world? You just look at the inner beauty that you are about, you accept it, and you place it into your material world, thus making your life situation so much better. And the best of all, because your life situation is better, you make the world a better place. Because remember, the world is yours. It's no one else's. It's your world. Well, I got to go now. I hope this made sense. I rambled on a little bit longer than I'd like to today, but sometimes I do that. God bless. I wish the best for you in life and love and success. Thanks again.